So if you run a service business, one of the most important tools you will need is a good, robust appointment scheduling software. And there are many different appointment booking apps out there and one of the most popular appointment apps for hairstylists, barbers and salon owners is Square Appointments. And that is for many good reasons. So in this video, I want to walk you through a Square Appointments tutorial where I show some of the unique features about Square Appointments and also give you some tips and tricks so that you can get the most out of this system for your business. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run the salonbusiness.com as well as this YouTube channel. And this is where I share the best ideas and strategies and also sometimes reviews like today's to help you grow your business. So if you want to grow your service business and your salon business, make sure you smash that subscribe button. This way you will be informed every time I publish new content on this channel. So before we dive into this Square Appointments tutorial, I just wanted to highlight one of the most obvious benefits with Square Appointments, and that is the fact that it's free for individuals. And this has made it one of the most popular solutions for individual hairstylists or people who are just starting their business because you can get going for free on the platform. Now, the way Square, Square earns an income is on uh, credit card transactions. So obviously their hope is that if you start using their appointment scheduler that eventually you will also use their payment gateway and you know they will earn back the money there. Uh, but it's really free to get started and I really recommend you do so after you watch this video uh, you create your own account. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to where you go in order to access Square Appointments for free. And I just want to be upfront with you as well that I'm an affiliate for Square products, which basically means that if you decide to sign up for Square Appointments using my link, I will earn a small commission based on that at no cost to you. So thank you in advance for supporting the salon business and making it possible for me to share quality content for free with you on this channel. But enough about that, you know, let's get started. Let's dive into Square Appointments. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen with you and uh, so I'll see you there. So in this review and tutorial of Square Appointments, uh, I'm going to be using the web interface to show you the tool. Now there is also a app available both for Android and for iPhone or iOS devices like iPads, which is a great app. It has like a 4.9 rating from like 80,000 reviews. It's really like a very good app. Uh, and you know, Square is very much a mobile first company that was their first product was to like allow people to process card payments through mobile phones, right? So no surprise that they have a very good mobile app, but uh, just for the simplicity of sharing the screen with you and being able to show you all the details, I will be using now the, the web interface. So before we actually dive into the tool and we walk through all the settings where I'll show you the different tweaks and what you can do to get the tool set up in the best way possible for you, um, I just want to show you kind of the booking experience, so the flow that your clients will go through when they want to book you, since that is a very important part of an appointment scheduler, that that is a nice and seamless flow and that you have the right options to get that working for you uh, in a good way. So with Square Appointments, you have a few different ways that you can do this. Um, you have a like their default booking page, which looks something like this which basically you just get a link that you can link to from anywhere and people can go and book your services via there. You can also use the Square Online tool, which is their website builders builder. So it's like separate from um, Square Appointments, but integrates together. So this allows you to create a more sophisticated website, uh, you know, something like this, where you have your appointments integrated. So if someone goes and want to book now, and that it would load in a pop-up for you on the website. You can also integrate it like on a page. Uh, so you have like more advanced customization options. Um, and I won't be showing you that much around Square Appoint, uh, sorry, uh, around Square Online in this tutorial because uh, I do have a separate video where I walk you through like all the details on that, which I will link to uh, on the screen right now as well. So if you want to learn more about how to build a website using Square Online, I recommend you check out that tutorial instead. Now we'll focus more on, on Square Appointments. Now, if you already have a website, so you don't need to build a full new one, you can of course integrate Square Appointments onto your website as well, which I think is an important feature for an appointment scheduler uh, to create the right branding experience. I will show you later on in this tutorial exactly how you do that using WordPress. 
Uh, WordPress is one of the you know most commonly used website builders. There's many other options out there as well, and the process would be would be the same. But let's now take a look at you know what that booking flow looks like for a client that lands uh, on on your booking site. So this will be the same if it's integrated on your page or if it's you know like this on the booking site. Um, so you know the client can choose which type of service uh, they want to book first. You can also go via staff. It's only me in this example setup that I have right now. But if you want to like select the staff and then book your service based on that, um, but uh, so we will go via via services. You'll see you can also promote gift cards on here, which is something that Square offers, which is also separate to Square appointments, but it's a feature that is available. And in fact, in that Square Online video uh, and the tutorial, I show you much more detail around how to how to get uh, you know your uh, gift card set up if that's something that you want to offer as well. So that was a little bit of a side point, but let's now go through the booking experience. So let's say we wanted to book a women's haircut. Like on the next page now, I will be asked if I want to add more services. Now, this is a feature you can enable if you want, if you want to have give clients the ability to book more services at the same time, or if you don't. So I have that enabled in, in this version and we'll look at that later. Um, so let's say we selected a cut, you know, you just land, you select what date you want that to be, what time do you want that to be, and that shows you the avail available time for you. Uh, and then you land on the page where you actually place your booking and you add your customer details in. And here you also have an option to capture credit card details. So we will look at this uh, in the settings later on because you have a few different options in here uh, really to help you with no show protection. So what I have set up in this example is so that people leave a credit card and, and then I have a fixed small fee for a no show protection. Uh, you can do this in, in other ways as well, and we will go through that uh, later on. And you can also have it switched off, of course, and only have your cancellation policy on there. But, uh, you know, having that on there, or at least your cancellation policy is important, because really, if you want to charge for no-show, it's really important to communicate that upfront when your clients book. Uh, and given, you know, Square Appointments integrates with their payment gateway, you know, it becomes very easy to store credit card details on file and to have that uh, uh, and to be able to charge for for no shows okay so that was just a little bit on you know the front end the booking experience um going via the tool now let's dive into the back end of the tool um, where we will go through some of the configurations um, so there's really a lot of powerful features in here um, there's a lot of powerful features within square appointments uh, but you know, one of the biggest benefits I would say with Square Appointments is the fact that it's part of like the Square universe of products. You know, so they have a lot of different tools which all integrates with each other. Um, you know, you'll see some of them here, which you also get access to uh, with with Square Appointments. Some are free and some are paid for. Uh, but there's like more things you can add on. For example, they have a great free uh, point of sale system or a point of sale app uh, which which enables you to kind of um, uh, synchronize your inventory be between uh, you know your point of sale system and your booking app so if you have services that you want to like sell there and via the appointments app you know that's all that's all integrated of course square payments is integrated which is what allows you to charge credit card fees directly and charge for services directly when people are booking you have the square online tool that we looked at earlier uh, which allows you to build a full website uh, for free as well and also start selling products uh, and services online. You have there uh, the marketing suite, uh, which allows you to do like email marketing. Uh, you have the loyalty program that you can reward loyal clients. There's a, there's a lot of different uh, tools in there for like business reporting, even payroll. So you do have that like full universe of products. It's not only square appointments, but again, this would be a very long tutorial if I was gonna go through like how to work with all of those tools. So in, in this video, we will really focus on uh, square appointment, but I just wanted to make that point because I think that's you know an important consideration for you to have in mind as well when you're choosing the right appointment scheduler uh, for you. But let's take a closer look at uh, square appointment specifically. And so first of all, you have the calendar view, uh, which is very important. So this is where you would see all your upcoming appointments. 
Right now I only have one staff in here. Uh, since this is an example account I created for the purpose of this video. Um, so you'll see all the appointments that I have scheduled for me in here. If you had more staff, you could see multiple calendars and have them color coded for, um, you know, for all the different users. Um, and then you can configure a few things. You can set your availability, like which hours are you open, um, so that that shows um, uh, correctly. You can, um, uh, you know, switch in the calendar view. So we're looking at the week view. You can look at the day view if that's kind of what you, what you want to see or. Uh, month view, so you have different views, um, and using the calendar is, is very intuitive. So if you have like different staff who's going to work with this, it doesn't really require an, like an onboarding and training. You know, if you want to, you know, go into an appointment, you just click on the appointment, you get the details for it. If you want to change an appointment, you can even like drag and drop it around. And if you change, you know, the time of an appointment or you make some changes, your customers and your clients will be will be notified uh, based on that. Uh, and something that I think is really uh, a really good feature that you can see on this appointment here is this little gray area, which basically means that the service that has been booked here has a processing time where the staff member that is booked for that service would be available. So you can configure your services that way, which means that when they are booked in, that member of staff is actually shown as available and you could actually manage and they could handle other appointments uh, during that uh, during that time uh, in the appointment when they're not working uh, with the clients. Um, so if you want to check, so you can use this as a point of sale system. So if you have your client in and you want to check out the client, you would just click on it. You'll immediately get the uh, option to accept the payment and to charge the client for the appointment. And you'll have other you know features in here. You can add notes, which obviously is very helpful to uh, uh, add, you know, comments on, you know, whatever the client said during the appointment. Uh, if there's some piece of information that you want to be able to remember and to bring up the next time the client comes in, you can just go in straight on the appointment and add that and you will be able to view that later on um, when you look at your customer or next time they are, uh, you know, booking, booking in for an appointment. So uh, I think that's really helpful. Uh, there's more things you can add. Um, so here you get like an overview. We will look at the uh, like client directory or customer directory separately, but you can go into the, the customer. You can add more things than just notes as well to the to the customer as well. So, uh, but we will look at that separately soon. <clears throat> so that's kind of the calendar. It's really easy to use. Um, I think it's great with having this like processing time feature available and also you can set up your services if there's like time needed before and after so you have the right margins so you don't get like back to back appointments if you need a little bit of time in between all that can be can be set up as well. Um, yeah so that's the calendar view um, so let's go into settings and we'll go through uh, some of the important, important settings that I think you should be uh, aware of um, that you will find helpful. So uh, one is, we actually looked at it earlier, which is the no-show protection, um, which is very important in our industry. Um, so as I said earlier, you have a few different options. I have this set now to be booking with no-show protection and I have a flat fee for all the appointments that, you know, that I can charge uh, if they wouldn't show up for the appointment. Uh, you can have other settings, you can have booking without no-show and just have your booking policy or cancellation policy. Uh, you can also have required payments. You can actually uh, have the client pay for their service in full when they book as well. So that's something that you can set up based on how you want it to, to work uh, in your business. Um, so that's the payments and cancellations and no-show protection. Um, the other part I wanted to show you as well is communications because that's another, I, I would say, uh, we can discard that. Another really powerful feature of Square Appointments is like the advanced notification system that you have. So um, you, you, you can set up, so if we go through this one, you can set up, um, uh, the first setting is to have customers confirm requests. So if they have booked an appointment, you can ask them to actually confirm if they're gonna show up ahead of the appointment and when you want that to be sent out. You can have your uh, reminders when you want, you know, a reminder of the appointment to be set, sent out via text. 
Uh, and also if you want to send out an email message, you can set up that as well. Uh, and one th feature that is really cool is, so when you're asking for someone to confirm the appointment, for example, you can leverage the Square Assistant, uh, which is basically allowing your clients to respond directly to a text message uh, to either like cancel their appointment or to, you know, confirm that they're coming and so on. Um, and just, I just pulled up an image here that illustrates this since I cannot really share my phone right now. Um, so, you know, your client, when they are booked, they will receive a message, something like this. And, uh, you know, they will be asked to just reply and confirm if they're coming or not. And then that's registered in the system. Or if they cannot come and they can cancel, you know, you can do that. Or, uh, you know, if they want to move the appointment, you know, they can respond directly to the notifications that you're sending to them, which makes this very simple and seamless for the client to, to use and to share that information from you which also increases the chances that they will actually do it and that they will, uh, you know, not uh, suddenly not show up or not have communicated with you because it's very easy for them to actually leave a message if they need to change something or if they need to cancel their, the appointment. So, um, so really the whole communications functionality of uh, Square Appointments is very powerful. You can also customize the details of all this. Obviously, the default settings are great. Uh, but you can, you know, you can sh change whatever message you want, um, you know, for like confirming your uh, uh, confirming your appointment or whatever it is you have, you know, you have the ability to change all that. The default settings are good, so there's probably no need for it, but you can really customize uh, on that level as well. I haven't actually used the customer contracts, but that's a feature also that is available if you have a service that you offer that require them to sign a contract ahead of the appointment, you can also set that up um, so that that will be sent out for you. So again, like the communications part is one of the strengths, I would say, of, of Square Appointments. And, uh, you know, if you pair this up also together with their marketing tool, which is again, a separate tool that allows you to do email marketing and to send, you know, marketing campaigns as well, and not only, you know, messages around the specific appointment, you know, if you pair those up together, you have a very powerful tool for managing your appointments and your marketing and your communication with your with your customers, I would say. Um, so the other thing I wanted to uh, show you as well, actually, you have more settings, let's go quickly over those, uh, I think it's uh, still important for you to see. So you have you have the option to like when you book an appointment where they can book. So at my business, if you have a physical location, if you're you know mobile, you could have also to book at the customer's location, for example. Um, you can you know configure if you know you need to accept or decline appointments before, or if uh, you know the client can book. Um, the time zone part, if you would be acting <coughs> operating in multiple time zones, that would be relevant. Otherwise, not. Um, and then you have. Uh, 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 you know, the, the frequency of how appointments should be scheduled. And um, there's nothing really too difficult in here that I think we need to go into. Uh, this is one of the settings that I had on that you can actually allow clients to uh, book multiple services when they book. You can switch that off if you want. You know, you saw you, when we booked, you could go via the member of staff to book the service. Uh, you can have that switched off if you want, if you just want them to be able to book the service without um, going via the staff. Um, and you can set some limits. You know, one really neat feature is of course that it integrates with Google Calendar, which is what many would be using for their like personal calendars and, and uh, you know, using in their phone. So having a synchronization here, which means that when, you know, you can see your appointments also directly in your calendar together with your other, uh, you know, other meetings or private appointments as well, uh, which is helpful. And finally, if you're if you if you don't have such a full calendar, but you still want to look busy so that you know it's not completely empty when people book, you can turn on the fake it filter, um, so you can have like uh, you know 25%. I had this turned on to now 40%, or you know if you want to just fill up your calendar a little bit more than what it really is to make it look a little bit more busy, uh, that's also something that you can do in there. So I think there's some really nice features in there um, that you can do. Uh, so now I also want to cover kind of uh, services and the customers and how that works. Uh, so that is managed, uh, let's see, in the items um, libraries. If we're going to go to services, you'll go to items, uh, which is basically where you manage your inventories, your inventory of services or your inventory of products, if you're selling products uh, and all that, which is then synced up to your point of sale system as well. Um, so here you just go. 
um, you can add in your um, different services, see the services that are there. I've just added some example services. But if you want to create one, we can just do one quickly, just so you see the options that you have. Let's say we wanted to do a color correction service. Um, you can set a category if you wanted. I think I just had hair services. You can write a description, add an image even if you want that to be visible. Uh, at which locations do you offer this? Uh, so I have a few different locations set up here. Um, so you can have all locations and the price uh, that you want to charge for it. If you want to have a specific cancellation fee. So this can be um, quite interesting, you know, if you don't want to charge, you know, you saw when we were in the settings, you could set up the cancellation fee and the notion protection, but here you could also have, uh, you know, a specific uh, <coughs> fee for each service of what the cancellation cost would be. Um, so you have a few of, of options here. And if you want to, uh, you know, you can go in here and specify your duration of the appointment so that clients know how long they book for and how long that is added to your calendar. And this is also where you can add this processing time feature. So you could say like, okay, the service starts with, uh, you know, 20 minutes, then there is a processing time of 40 minutes, and then there is a, uh, you know, finish of 25. So this, then they will add a segment of the appointment, which is bookable because that's a process time um, when you could actually manage another appointment. You can also add in like extra time. So after the appointment, like how much time extra do you need? And so, so that you have that kind of padding in the calendar. You can select if this should be bookable online. If there's any resource required, which is also very helpful. So, uh, you know, if you needed to use the, uh, the treatment room for this particular one, you can add that in also to make sure that your resources that you have are not being double booked. Um, you know, which is obviously imp as important as well as, uh, you know, the stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, you can add a few other things which we won't go into right now. Uh, but that just shows you, you know, what you can do when it comes to setting up your services. We can save that. Um, and then clients can uh, have that available and book those services. So the other part I wanted to show you is also customer information. So we can go into customers. Um, so in customers, you will actually find, uh, so if we go into the customer directory, uh, there's a few more things in here, uh, which we could go into like feedback, which I think is really interesting. Uh, here you can have basically on your receipt after the appointment that goes out, people can you know tap the happy smiley or the sad smiley, and they can actually leave a feedback, uh, which is very helpful to you know collect that consistently with all your appointments that helps you, you know, get information on what's working, what's not working in your business, so you can, correct and improve. Uh, but that's, uh, that's a side point. Let's just focus on the customer directory and uh, what you can do in here. And uh, so obviously you can create a customer, you can add a customer in here, or you can go in and edit one. And uh, so let's maybe we could, uh, you know, go just look at what it uh, if we go into one of the customers, so you can edit all the personal information. Um, you know, all the details that you want to add about the specific uh, customer, even birthdays, uh, which are things like can link up with your marketing tool. If you're using that, you can send out birthday messages and that kind of thing. Um, but you can really add all the customer details in. Uh, and I think what's quite interesting as well, you can, you know, get a view. Now, this is a, a test account. So, but otherwise you could see like past appointments, you know, you get a full view on that specific customer. Uh, you can also add notes, but you can add files as well. So if you wanted to show like a before and after picture from a previous appointment, that is also something that you could be storing uh, on the customer level as well. So there's quite some rich uh, support in here uh, to manage all your customer data uh, in an effective way. And you can also have the card details stored so that you can charge for no shows or charge for purchases and so on um, directly from the, from the customer. So, um, and the other thing is like when you're in here, if you wanted to, you know, do something specific with this customer, you can also click on here. You can schedule them in for an appointment. You can charge their credit card if they have it stored. You see that you have quite a few different options on different things um, that you can actually do directly with the customer from here as well. So it's uh, it's a simple, easy to use uh, inventory of customers. I have, uh, you know, you can 
you know, select the different groups of customers. You can create more groups. And really, you will see all the, all the customers in here. So that could be people that have booked an appointment with you. That's why they're in here. It could be because they purchased something through your point of sale system. That's why they're in here. It could be because you have an, uh, like collected their email on your website. They could be visible in here as well as a, as a lead for your business as well. So really, all of them are stored in here. And you would use them like categories and groups to be able to quickly find you know, what type of, uh, uh, the type of customer that you're, that you're looking for. Um, so I think that gives a good overview over the customer directory. So the uh, last part actually that I wanted to uh, take you through is the online booking. So that's uh, obviously important. So let's go into appointments again. Um, and you saw in the beginning of this uh, tutorial, kind of when we looked at the booking experience. Um, so I just wanted to show you the different options that you have here uh, for uh, you know how you can integrate that booking uh, and to collect bookings from customers and so you have the booking site which is the most straightforward it's just a link that you can basically put anywhere to allow people to book you this will create a page that looks something like this and uh, where you can book or you can actually create a you know more advanced site using the square online tool Again, I have a video that is dedicated to this where I walk you through this in much more detail that I recommend you watch if you want to build a like full website for your booking experience uh, using Square Online. Uh, so that is something that you can do. Uh, and I'll leave a link to that in this video here uh, to the other video. Uh, or you can create a booking button and basically just design a simple button with the colors that you like. You can drop that code on your website, uh, which will then take you take the visitor to the booking page. Um, so that's different ways that you can reach uh, that booking experience. And uh, you also have more options. So you can actually integrate directly with Google or with Instagram so that people can book directly from these platforms, which is obviously a great feature because it's... Uh, you know, makes that process very simple. You know, the fewer clicks a person is to do to book you, the better. So if you can integrate that directly, uh, you can do that from here. Uh, and then the part that I want to spend a little bit more time on is how to actually, in, uh, you know, embed your booking experience on your existing website. And um, so the way this works is that um, Square gives you a script, uh, this one, which you basically copy and paste to your website. So I will show you now how to do this in WordPress. Uh, you can do this using any website builder. Uh, most of them, or I think all of them, should have support uh, to add a piece of code to the site. So the process will be the same, but let me just show you uh, exactly how you do that in WordPress. And you know this will like take care of the design for you. So after you add the code, depending on how much space you have on the site, uh, it would either show like a smaller a sidebar option like this one and to clients or if you have a lot of space it will show you like the bigger area like you see on the examples on here so that will just take care of it uh, for you so uh, let me show you how you do this um, so I've created a uh, here we are I've created a um, like a test page just to kind of show you this so we're now on um, you know the salon business which is uh, which is my website uh, so what you can do, if you want to add this into WordPress, uh, you'll just add this, which is called the custom HTML, uh, which is part of the standard WordPress. And in that, you can just paste in that code that we just copied from here. Okay. And then you do update. And so after you've done that, if we just look at this, it will... Uh, there we go, show you, um, you know, how clients can book. So obviously this is not the, the nicest paste page. You might have a nicer booking page. Uh, but the point here is just to show you kind of how, how you can integrate that booking experience uh, onto, you know, your existing site so that people stay within kind of your brand, within your, uh, with or, within your universe. So that's how you would do that. And again, if you're using Squarespace, if you're using the Square Online tool, or if you, you know, whatever website builder you're using, you can just copy this script in and that will work. 
Um, so I think this is an important feature for a appointment scheduler. Not everyone supports this, but that you can actually have it part of your of your overall brand experience and that you're giving your clients and having that integrated on the site. I think where Square could still do a better job is like giving some more design flexibility. Since when you're integrating it on your site, ideally I would have liked to change the colors, for example, from blue to black, because this is what I'm using here, or orange or something that fits my brand. Uh, it doesn't allow you to do that. So it allows you to integrate it onto the site, which is great. Uh, but, you know, it could be a little bit more flexible in the design options, um, I would say. But uh, it's, uh, it's really great that that is there and that's very easy to do. Uh, okay, so I think we've covered a lot now. Um, so we've gone through... You know, all the important settings, how you set up services, uh, how you manage your calendar, you know, within Square Appointments. Generally, I would say this is a tool that I do recommend uh, to like salon owners and service business owners because it's just really easy to use. It has a lot of powerful features in there. And probably what's most important is that it's integrated in the Square Universal product. So it's not just an appointment scheduler, but you actually get access to so many more things marketing tools and so on uh, that we uh, that we uh, that I talked about earlier uh, in the tutorial so uh, and also the fact that it's free right so you can actually start using it for free when you're an individual if you have a team uh, there's a fee for that uh, otherwise you can actually start using the tool for for free so what I obviously recommend you do is that you after this tutorial now that you go and um, and, and create an account and you play around with the tool for yourself as well and to see what it can do for you and uh, and for your business. So uh, I will also leave a link to that where you access the free version in the description of this video, of course. So I hope you found that review and tutorial helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up so that I know if I should be doing more of these type of videos. And also make sure you check out my other software reviews that I have on the channel and that I'm linking to on the screen right now. And I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video.